Welcome everyone. In this short lesson, we are going to talk about percentiles. First, we are going to define percentiles or percentile. A percentile indicates the relative standing of a data value when data are sorted in numerical order from smallest to the largest. It divides the data into 100 equal parts. So when you're talking about percentile, we are talking about the position of the data in terms of 100. So if we divide the data set into 100 equal parts, what is that particular position? That is called the percentile. It measures the percentage of data value less than or equal to the pth percentile. So meaning of that is, for example, if we are talking about 15th percentile, meaning of that is 15% of data values are less than or equal to the 15th percentile. If we are looking at the lower percentile value, okay, lower percentile in the given data set, then we are looking at the lower data value. And when you're talking about the higher percentile or high percentile, it corresponds to the higher data value. So after we have this definition of percentile, we are going to look at the formula for the calculation of percentile. So first we are going to look at the formula for finding the kth percentile. When I say kth percentile, it can be 70 percentile, 70th percentile, or it can be 83rd percentile, or it can be second percentile, and so on. So here is the formula. What you need to do is, for the kth percentile of a data set, we need to find the i, the i value, which is given by this formula, k over 100 times n plus 1. Now, when you find this value using the information given in the data, your i may be an integer or a whole number, or maybe it is not a whole number or not an integer. So if it is integer, your percentile value is equal to the data value in ith position. But if it is not an integer, then the percentile value is the average of the data value above and below i. So when you just read this formula, it may not make sense, but when you look at the example, this will make totally sense. So what we are going to do is, we are going to take an example and use this formula for the calculation of percentile. Example, listed are 29 ages for Academy Award winning best actors in order from smallest to largest. That means the data is already arranged here and we have 29 piece of information or 29 observations. So n is equal to 29. Now, we are asked to find the 78th percentile and 83rd percentile. Let's work on A first. So in A, we have K equal to, you can clearly see K is equal to 70 because we are looking for 70th percentile. So in order to find the percentile, we need to find the value of I given by this formula. And in order to find I, we need K and N. Our N is 29. So k equal to 70 and n equal to 29. So after we have this piece of information, we are going to calculate the value of i using that formula. Now i is equal to, you can look at this formula, it is k divided by 100. So which is 70 divided by 100 or 0 0.7, 0 0.7 multiplied to n plus 1, n is 29, so 29 plus 1 is 30. And if we multiply this, 0 0.7 times 30 is 21. So it is exact whole number or integer. So this is integer. So if i is integer, then your 70th percentile, okay, p70, so p70, is equal to p70 is equal to data value data value at 21st position data value at 21st position so what is that data value at 21st position let's find that so data value at 21st position now we have to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So in 21 or 21st position, the data value is 64. So 78th percentile is 64. So that is equal to 64. So P70 or 70th percentile is 64. This is the first case when I, the value of I is an integer. Now let's look at the second part where I will be a decimal value, not an integer. So same thing here. Here we are looking at the 83rd percentile. So K is 83rd or 83. So here your K is 83 and N is still 29 because we are looking at the same set of data. Let's find I. So I is equal to K divided by 100 is our formula here. So 83 divided by 100, 0 0.83 multiplied to 29 is our N, but in the formula we have N plus 1. So 29 plus 1 is 30. And if we multiply this, 0 0.83 multiplied to 30 is 24.9. 24.9. So this is not an integer because it is a decimal value. Not an integer. So if it is not an integer, the percentile value will be the average of, so here we have 24.9, so it will be the average of 24th and 25th item. So let me write that. So your P83rd is equal to 24th item or the data value at 24th position plus 25th item or data value on 25th position divided by 2. So that is P83 or 83rd percentile equal to, okay, what is in 24th position? This was the 21st position if we remember, 21, so 22, 23, 24. In 24th position we have 71 plus, in 25th position we have 72 divided by 2 is equal to 71.5. So you can say the 83rd percentile is 71.5. So we look at two different cases for the calculation of percentile. Now we know how to calculate the kth percentile for a given data using the formula here. Now we are going to work in reverse direction. If the value in the data set is given, how we can find the percentile value for that? So the percentile value K, okay, the percentile value K for the data point M. So what we are looking for is if PK, some percentile value is equal to M, then what is K equal to? Okay, if they have given like 15th percentile is equal to some value. We know how to calculate that, okay? But here we are doing the reverse direction. See, for example, some percentile value equal to seven. What is that percentile value K? So what do we do is percentile value K for the data point M in a range data set, we have to find the K using this formula, where N is the total number of observation, X is the number of observations below M, Y is the frequency of M, how many times the M is repeating, okay? And if this K value is a decimal, we have to round it to a whole number. So if I just look at the formula, this formula may or may not make sense, but what we are going to do is, we are going to take an example and use this formula. Example. Listed are 29 ages of academic award winning best actor in order from smallest to largest. The same data set that we have used earlier. Here we are asked to find the percentile for 58. So 58 is in what percentile? Okay, or in what position we have 58? And in what position we have 25? So for the first part, they have given M. So here M is 58. 
n is 29 because we have 29 observations. Now, if you look at the formula here, we need x and y. When you say x, x is the number of observations below this 58. Here is our 58. So how many observations are below 58? So we have to count all these. So if you start counting here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you can see there are 18 observations. Okay, there are 18 observations below 58. So x equal to 18. x equal to 18. And also we need y. So y is the frequency of m or frequency for 58. That means how many 58 are here? We have just 158. So y is equal to 1. Now we need to find the value of k using this formula. So what is our k? Now k is given by the formula. k is equal to 100 divided by n. So 100 divided by 29. 100 divided by 29 multiplied to x. x is 18 plus half times y. Your y is 1. And if we simplify this using calculator, you should get 63.79. But we round this to a whole number, so nearest whole number. So your k must be 64. So meaning of that is your 64th percentile, okay, 64th percentile is 58. So we get k equal to 64. That is the first part. Now let's look at the second part. It's pretty similar. They have given 25 as the number in this data set and we have to find the percentile value for that. So this is your m. So here m is 25, you know our n is 29, x is the number of observations below 25, so here is 25, below 25 we have only 3, so x equal to 3, and y is the frequency of 25. How many 25 are here in this data set? We have just 1, so y is equal to 1. Now let's find k. Now your k is equal to, let's use this formula, 100 divided by n. So 100 divided by 29 times x is 3 plus half times y, half times 1, which is equal to, if we simplify that using calculator, you should get 12.069. And if you round this to a whole number or the nearest whole number, then it is 12. Meaning of that is the 12th percentile is 24. 12th percentile is 24. So in this short video, we learn how to calculate the percentile from the given data set. We learn how to calculate the kth percentile for the given data set. And the second thing we know is if the value of kth percentile is given, we also learn how to find the value of k. So this is the end of this short video. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.